I mean, obviously you're a beautiful girl. You Thank have a you. beautiful body. Thank um, you. What influenced you to go ahead and take steps to get a, what we're calling a Brazilian butt lift, which is also known as a fat transfer to the buttocks? Well, I always had this like little pouch in my stomach right here. Okay. And no matter how much weight I lost, it would never go away ever. Okay. So um, I just decided to do this. Plus, when I wear clothes like jeans or something, I notice that my butt kind of disappears when I wear jeans and stuff. So when I wear jeans or sweatpants, I want to have a butt in everything I wear. Okay. It'll just make me feel better about myself. But I'm mostly doing it. For, this, for the tummy. For the tummy, because okay. my stomach is, I cannot stand it. That's the only thing throwing me off. I want to be able to wear a bathing suit and wear tight clothes, like sundresses like this, without having to hide all of that, the pouch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I called mine too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost like kind of getting two things taken care of yeah. in one shot. Two exactly. things that have been bothering you. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. A, a Brazilian butt lift that is really incorrect name for the procedure. It is basically liposuction or body contouring of torso, and then they're going to do a fat transfer to buttock shaping augmentation. So these are the areas that we are going that we have some excess fat that we are going to harvest as much as we can, and then transfer that on the back. So she does really not have much of a fat, but I think we are going to be able to harvest enough to create what we want. So can you turn around? And this is our plan of treatment. We are going to harvest as much as we can from this area, which is visually going, when we uh, 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 d decrease the thickness in here, it's visually going to create a, a bigger butt. It looks mm -hmm. like uh, this uh, curve is going to be improved. Uh, shape of the waist is going to be changed. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to strategically disperse that fat in the area to create projection in here and then to give her a little bit of curve on the side. So we are injecting the tumescent fluid all over because it helps liposuction and we are doing that with the liposuction machine. So at the same time we are preparing the tissue for, uh, for liposuction and breaking the fat tissue and injecting the tumescent fluid into that way. So that speeds up our process. We have completed the liposuction of the interior area of the abdomen, of the chest, a little bit of the flanks. And we are ready to turn her to a prone position of her stomach, where we are going to complete the flanks and lower back liposuction and then start with the shaping and fat grafting the buttocks. So that's the part one of this uh, procedure. And that's not too much. our plan we are going to suction this area that is left to create waste there is a lot of fat that we can and that's going to give us more concavity so the butt comes out when she's standing more prominent just because of we are taking this thickness in here this is our border where her butt should start these are the areas that we are going to put the grafts so we are still going to harvest some fat and to to create a finer waste than she has now we have aggressively liposuction the waist and this is the shape that you are getting and projection and visual butt augmentation that you are just just getting decreasing this weight waist size and when it stands it's even more obvious with the fat graft transfer we have made uh, you can go on a table and show that it will show you the fat graft that we made we have probably collected around one liter of uh, good fat grafts and we are going to put it probably 500 cc's per area. So we are injecting that mostly in the superficial layer of the fat. We don't inject it in the muscle because it is too dangerous. We have probably read about the uh, possibility of fat embolism. It can happen more in the, if we are going to go too deep in the muscles. We are trying to give her a little bit of a curve here because she has a little bit of the hip down there on the, on the lateral thighs. So we're going to make that a nice C curve. And I'm just working on that on this side. So we have placed about 400 cc's in the other butt. We are somewhere about 300 in this side. So we have eight. 
It's coming. How many more do we have? We probably have five on for each side. Two days after surgery, we had the aggressive liposuction of the abdomen and flanks, creating a nice face, uh, 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 waist, lots of bruising as you can see, and then turn around the, the profile. That's uh, you know, look at this nice slope between the back and uh, and the new butt, and then we have uh, created a new butt. There is a lot of uh, swelling still, so but it's going to be significant uh, augmentation. And uh, she seems to be liking the next and the earth this side. So it's uh, pretty much the, the way we planned and as much as we could do with the amount of uh, grafts that we had. So tell us about your experience regarding pain and everything else. I feel great. All everything right. went perfectly fine. Going to sleep, waking up, I felt perfectly fine waking up from the surgery. When I got home, I just took my medicine. I'm fine. I slept good. Today is the third day. Yeah. I feel I feel great. It's actually the second day after surgery. Oh, second, yeah, second day. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. Okay. So this is her early result. She's going to keep improving. Now we are going to put her in a garment. Now we are in a in a garment, mm -hmm. and we just placed it on. You can see on the butt there is less of a compression. Some of them have holes. This one does not have a hole. Very supportive. It has to be very tight at the beginning, because that's how we control the swelling. And uh, let's turn from the color to the rest of you. Uh, so it, that is the how does it look day one or day two. We don't put it very first day because they are, they are oozing a lot. But then when everything is clean, we put it on. And she should be in this 24-7 for about three weeks. Very tough. But I think uh, she can make it. And next step is lymphatic massage. We have to do that uh, with ultrasound, with manual massage. And